Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. What I would like to show you how to do right now is to read in and print out strings and a character. Um, not very difficult to do, handy in a lot of cases, especially reading in the characters. Um, um, a little bit more tedious than in C and C++ and Java, but uh, uh, just a few details. Now let's do the uh, reading in a string. I have my basic program uh, set up. It um, prints out a single message, enter in a string, maximum of 100 characters. I also have space set aside to store the string once I've read it in, and I also have one byte of data set aside to read in a byte and print it out. I'll show you how to do that. So I've already got the program set up to print out the string itself. Now let's show you the code necessary to read in and print out that string that, string that we just read in. And let me just paste that code in there. So here it is. The very first thing you do, and this is how you read in a string, is you load 8 into v0. That tells the syscall uh, library to read in a string. I have to tell it where to put the string, and that's done by loading the address of buffer into a0. And I also have to tell it the maximum number of characters to read in. I don't have to read in all of them, but I have to tell it the maximum. That's done in a1. And then I execute the syscall. It will uh, request the string from the user. Now I'm just going to turn around and print that out. Uh, loading the 4 into v0 to tell Cisco to print a string. I'm going to load the address of the buffer into a0 and I'm just going to basically print the string out that I read in. Let's run it. Let's find out how it works. So I'll bring up Qt spin. I'll reinitialize and load the file. No syntax errors. I know because I've run it already. I say run and it says enter in a string maximum of 100 characters. This is a string. Now I want to. I made a mistake right there in printing out a string. One of the problems of Qt spin and the simulator, it doesn't allow backspace or delete. So if you enter in a string uh, incorrectly, there's really no way to uh, correct it. It's uh, kind of stuck. So I'm just going to hit enter and it just prints that string out. All right. Now then let's go on and let's show you how to. Um, uh, read in and print out just a character. So now I've set up the program to read in a single character. I've changed the message up at the top to say read in a single character. I'm actually going to store it into the buffer area. I don't have to. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So I print out the message. So here is the code to read in and print out a single character. A little different, a little different. I have to load immediate 12 into v0 and that tells syscall to read in a character. It actually puts the character read in back into v0. So that's where it's at. So to store it, what I do is I load the address of the buffer into s0 and then I use the sb, which is store byte, v0 into that location. And uh, I'm going to turn around and print it back out. Uh, I'm going to load that. Uh, character into a0 and I could have uh, used the 0 left parentheses dollar sign s0 right parentheses right here if I wanted to it's the same thing but I'm just showing you two ways to address uh, access addresses so the character you want to print out has to go into a0 and then we move 11 into v0 that tells it to print out a character and then we're going to do the syscall and print it out well let's save this and let's show you how it works. It's just, just a little different. Just a little different. So let's go up here. And we're going to say file, reinitialize. And say open, no syntax errors. And we're going to say run. Now here's something that's really interesting. Let me go up here and turn the console on so you can see it. Let's bring the console back up here. It says enter in a single character. I'm just going to I hit a single character. I'm going to hit a lowercase f and you'll notice that immediately it echoes it out. And that's because when I'm reading in a character I don't have to hit the carriage return to actually enter in a character. It just automatically sends it to me. 
a little quirky thing you got to deal with. Well, this is uh, how to read in a string and read in a character. Um, hope this helps you out. And on to the next uh, video. Uh, practice this, uh, by the way. Uh, you need to practice this code to, to get good at it.